Hi, this is Russ Jeffers from MobileBoon.com and here I've got the HTC HD Mini. Uh, this is HTC's latest Windows Mobile 6.5 handset and we're going to do a quick unboxing for you here and then I'll show you around the device real quick. First of all, you can see in the box we've got the battery, bright yellow, uh, just the same as the internals of the phone which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, underneath that we've got a power plug here which uh, you can see just slots together uh, with whichever plug type you need to use for your country and this USB part uh, and then we've got a USB data cable here which plugs into the uh, wall charger and then the other end goes straight into the bottom of the HD mini if we just pull this out here we can see it's actually a micro USB connection uh, and then that just goes straight in the bottom of the HD mini like that uh, and as I said the other end just goes straight into the uh, bottom of the charger there uh, we've also got in the package uh, this set of headphones um, the HD Mini has a 3.5mm headphone port on the top as we can see there so you can use whatever headphones you like, you can use your iPod headphones or any other headphones that you use for most music players uh, we've also got a little tie clip here and some little foam ear tips uh, and you can see the headphones aren't the best quality, they're sort of quite cheap uh, look like they could fall out of your ear quite easily but you do at least get in the package this inline microphone uh, which has a little button for answering and ending calls as well. So that's the contents of the box. Uh, now we're going to move on to the HD Mini itself. Okay, so here's the HD Mini out of its box. You can see it's quite a handsome little guy. Uh, the front of the device is quite anonymous, you know, just a black slab like most uh, smartphones these days, touchscreen smartphones. Uh, but the back's a little bit different. We've got this soft touch paint on the back, and then in each corner we've got uh, one of the screws that's holding the device together, so it makes it feel a bit more rugged and utilitarian, but um, in terms of actual use it's not supposed to be a rugged device at all, you know, you can't uh, get it wet or drop it too much without breaking it, so um, it's just sort of to give it that look and a bit of character I suppose. Uh, on the front here we've got this 3.2 inch capacitive touchscreen display, um, it's a HVGA resolution display, uh, same as many of the Android devices that HTC make, um, and you can do obviously the multi-touch pinch gestures on it as well. Um, it's quite responsive, we'll show you that in a minute. And beneath it you can see we've got these touch sensitive keys. So we've got this call key, call end key, home key, windows menu key and a back key. Uh, and they're all touch sensitive, they're not actually hardware keys, there's no click at all. Um, and they actually require the screen to be unlocked to use them. Uh, at the top of the handset here above the display we've got a HTC logo and then the uh, earpiece. Uh, and underneath the earpiece grill there's actually a notification LED light which is quite handy. Uh, an ambient light sensor and also a proximity sensor so the phone knows when you've got it to the side of your head. Uh, nothing on the right hand side. Uh, on the left hand side you can see we've got the volume rocker uh, so that can be used for changing the earpiece volume and also the um, ringtone and system volume as well. Uh, and on the top we've got the on off button which can also be used for sleeping and waking the screen uh, and also the 3.5mm headphone port as well for uh, listening to your music. Uh, on the bottom we've got the micro USB uh, socket and also a microphone pinhole and uh, lanyard fixing as well if you like to uh, fix a lanyard to your phone. On the back we've got this nice shiny HTC logo, uh, a lens for the 5 megapixel autofocus camera but unfortunately no flash on the HD Mini. Uh, next to that we've got the speakerphone grill so the speakerphone's under there uh, and then it says at the bottom here as you can see with HTC Sense. So I'm just going to quickly pull the cover off for you now so you can actually see the yellow internals of the device. Right, so here we go. It's not the easiest thing to get the cover off. There is a slight indentation here to put a nail, uh, but the best way to attack it is to actually just pull from a corner here, I find. Uh, let's try and get it off because it actually incorporates the whole side of the device as well as the um, back. So as you see, we've got all the sides, top and bottom, uh, are all one piece with the back cover. Uh, and that leaves us with this very yellow looking uh, internal piece. You can see all the internals are bright yellow as is the battery that we saw earlier. Uh, so it looks a bit like a JCB. So if we just start putting a few different bits and pieces in now, the SIM card you can see just slides straight into here, easy peasy. Uh, the micro SD card just goes straight in the side so we can actually access that without uh, removing the battery. Unfortunately the battery does uh, obscure the SIM card slot so you can't get the SIM card out without removing the battery first. Uh, and then all we do is just pop that straight back in, bottom first and then the rear cover just fits on quite easily like that. Just give you a better view there, it slides in 
covers the entire back of the device as well as all the sides. Okay, so we've now got the HD Mini all fired up. As you can see, we've got some clouds going across the screen. That's part of HTC's new weather backgrounds. Um, and it's the usual sort of affair that you'd expect from a Windows Mobile device from HTC. You've got this um, bar along the bottom here to switch between all the different home screens, as you can see. Uh, and you can just scroll by dragging your finger across. And then that gives you access to any of these different things. And if we just stop and let go, uh, you can see we can open up various different things just by letting go of the tab as soon as we've got to what we need. It's a bit tricky here and there, as you can see, but uh, generally works quite well, I find, going through the phone. So uh, it's a pretty nice user interface. You can also switch between just by dragging across the display, as you can see. We're switching beneath the, uh, between the tabs at the bottom there. And you can flick backwards and forwards like that very, very easily. So it's quite nice. Um, this HD Mini is running a 600 megahertz processor as well, so it's pretty nippy. Uh, you can put various different shortcuts underneath the main home page there. Um, and also, if you need to go into the menu, just hit the Windows menu key. Uh, if you might have noticed at the moment, it's been removed from the top left corner where it was usually found. So you've actually got to use the uh, touch sensitive button now to access the main Windows menu. Okay, so as you can see, we've now received a text message from Peter Griffin. Uh, and that shows up on the lock screen here. It's a new lock screen that I've not seen before from HTC's. Windows Mobile handsets, and in this one you just drag the time bar down, uh, much the same as when the, uh, you're using one of their Android devices. Uh, and then the message shows up here at the bottom of the SMS icon, we can go and read it. Uh, let's just tap on the message, we can reply, uh, and we can also view different things from that same contact. You can view the contact details, email, updates and events, and also call history with that contact. Uh, so I can just tap to add text here and we can start typing. You can see although the screen's smaller than the HD2 screen, um, it's actually still quite a large keyboard that you get. So typing isn't too difficult. And any things that you uh, tap wrong, as you can see there, I've tapped mas message in wrong. Uh, and it's already guessed the correct word, which is pretty handy. So you can just tap the, the uh, guess word just to make it go into the um, text entry there. Moving on from that, we can show you as well the email system. You can have multiple accounts set up like we've got here. So I've got my Google Mail account set up as well as my Hotmail and also my mobile burn accounts. So we can just flick to one of those and quite easily flick through the emails as if they were real pages, which is quite handy. In the Internet uh, tab, you can see we've got our favorite pages set up. So I can just tap on the mobile burn logo there to go straight to the mobile burn page. And we'll just wait for that to uh, load up now. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, mobile web webpage is all now loaded up. And it's fairly quick to uh, scroll through just by a simple flick of the finger on the screen. I've also got things like uh, pinch zoom, as you can see. And also we can double tap to zoom on particular areas of text and it will reflow all the text for us, which is quite handy. Uh, so it makes it quite easy to uh, read a web page and also quite quick to view it. Um, also you can see all the different animations and adverts have uh, also loaded up which is quite handy, it gives you a real desktop uh, experience. So it's a pretty nice web browser uh, despite having obviously only the 600 megahertz processor compared to the HD2's 1 gigahertz processor and obviously the smaller screen as well. But it's still pretty impressive and works quite well. You can also, thanks to the accelerometer and the uh, HD mini, you can flick the screen over on the side and actually browse your web pages in landscape view if you prefer.